Okay, good day everyone. Uh, today I'm going to explain to you about this uh, USB copy protection system. Okay, first of all, when you go to the my computer, right, this is your pen drive. Okay, so this one is the all the files inside that I already set uh, with this uh, protection. So I name it as Arabic le uh, English Learning. So you can actually uh, change the name of this, uh, you know, this like uh, a logo that you that you will log in, you know. So when you double click on it, and you press yes. Okay, after that, this uh, login panel will come up. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, there's two username, admin and client use. So for general user, you can change to client use. And I will explain the admin later, which have a uh, more full of uh, power to control the entire uh, system. Okay, let's say for client use, uh, you can set it as auto login. So next time you won't go through this uh, login panel. Okay, then you press OK. Okay, then you will access all the files inside your pen drive, which is uh, you, uh, USB copy protected. Okay, obviously those that is not here, you can actually still use your pen drive to put put in other file for general use. Okay, so these are the three uh, MP4 video that I put in. These are these are the samples. So, so when you double click click on it, so we actually play the video itself. Want to speak real Arabic from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at Arabic Pod. And use it for both men. After asking for the price, we can ask for the number of items we want. And. Okay, so as you can see, when you right click it, there's no option for you to copy, paste, or delete. You know, so you can cannot edit anything, or you cannot drag it, or even cannot uh, save the video. So except you can right click and open it or just double click to play the video. So in this video, you actually cannot save the video to your desktop anything. There's no option for you to save. No. Okay, so this is the third video that I put in, a sample video. Okay, so these three files you see, you cannot uh, do anything to it. Okay, the only thing for a general user they can do is go to the manage, they can change the password. Since this on default, there's no password, they, they can actually put in their own password. So next time, you know, they can only key in a password to access their own file in their pen drive. So nobody can see their own files. Or in general, there's no password. So and then they can just do uh, exit and that's it, nothing much. Okay, so when you go back to this uh, Arabic learn English learning logo, you double click. Okay, so just now since we already set as auto login, right? So now you will auto login back to the, you know, the, the client side or the general use. Okay, so in order to go back to the ad admin, you need to go to the manage and click lock off, and then yes, okay, we'll go back to this uh, login panel. Okay, here you can set back as the admin. Okay. So admin, I already set a default password of one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then I press OK. Okay, now you are in the admin uh, side. Okay, what's the difference between admin and the general use? Okay, admin have full full power or full control, you know, to the all the files that inside this protection protected uh, uh, part here. Okay, so let's say this uh, video here, you can actually uh, copy, paste it, or you can just uh, delete it. Okay, let's say I try to copy and I try to paste it on my desktop. Okay, you see there's uh, uh, this file already copied to my desktop. So you see I can actually drag it back to the, or I can just... Uh, I try to cut it and and paste it to this uh, folder here. So we have uh, two copy here.
Okay, it's mentioned here whether replace it or not. So because it's the same file, so I click no. Okay, so this is the admin. Beside the full function, you actually can go to the manage and there's one option called privilege manager, which you can actually change your own password and even add password to the user one or add other uh, user. Okay, for the client use, as you can see here, uh, we only allow them to to run the file or just read only meaning that it's not allowed to do uh, other functions like delete, printing, rename and copy and paste and, and other things. Okay, so if you if you want to change the setting like you want to allow them to print or like you have a, a Word file or PDF file, you allow them to print, then you can allow, you can just unselect this and press OK. Okay, so let's say uh, you have another user you want to add in, let's say a manager or a, a a department head that you allow them to not only play the file they can uh, do copy paste or printing but not deletion then you can add in a user so this is the admin you can you know uh, do a editing to the uh, user so on default I just set it as a uh, client use and admin just two user here okay so so now I close it and when I go it back so it will go back to the login panel so for for your customer use you know that you're going to distribute to your customer so you ask them to click client use and then click auto login and no password required so next time when they just uh just double click click here it will automatically go through go to the files without uh, the login panel so they actually can just play the video without the uh, the ability to to copy or delete it you know, or they cannot paste anything. But somehow, when you go back to the pen drive, right? Okay. Okay. Just uh. Okay. This one pen drive, let's say, is uh about seven gig here. So you see here, there's a three point six gig already used for this uh for the video sample here. So the balance three gig, you actually can put in other files like let's say uh you know I put in one video here. So this is uh to ensure that the pen drive you still can use up. To the maximum capacity of the pen drive. So for this file, you can actually do like normal pen drive. You can actually just uh, edit and rename and delete it. So I think that is all about it. The explanation of this uh, USB copy protection system. So if you have further uh, question or any inquiry, please uh, contact us, uh, venturegroup.com.my for more information so that we can clarify to you. Okay, thank you guys for watching.